Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we are going to go through overview of Microsoft Telephony Solutions. The telephony features of Microsoft Teams have been developed to achieve feature parity to Sky for Business Online. The first step in the feature development process was completed in August 2018. Since then, Microsoft Teams has updated to provide a full featured communication service for voice communication into and from a wired telephony network. So the voice communication service that is implemented with Microsoft Teams incorporates the following communication components. The endpoints, uh, the PBX phone system, the calling plan or direct routing trunk, and the PSTN or public switch telephone network as well. Let's go and see on a high level what all these components are. PSTN or the public switched telephone network is the complete global telephone network operated by national, regional, and local telephone companies. PSTN provides the infrastructure and services for public telecommunications, including all telephone lines, fiber optic cables, microwave transmission links, mobile networks, communication satellites, and underwater telephone cables, all of which are interconnected with switching centers. So what is Private Branch Exchange or PBX? A private branch exchange is a telephone exchange or switching system that serves a private organization. It enables sharing of central office trunks between internally installed telephones and it provides intercommunication between these internal telephones within the organization without the use of external lines. The central office lines provide connection to the PSTN and the PBX permits the shared use of these lines between all stations in the organization. So let's understand what is phone system in Office 365. So phone system is the Microsoft technology for enabling call control and PBX capabilities in Microsoft Office 365 which is specifically for Microsoft Teams or Sky for Business Online. The phone system works with Teams or Sky for Business Online clients and certified devices. With phone systems, users can use Sky for Business Online and Microsoft Teams to place and receive calls, transfer calls, and mute or unmute calls. Phone systems allow you to replace your existing PBX systems with a set of features directly delivered from Office 365. To connect phone system to your public switch telephone network or PSTN, you can choose Microsoft calling plan or your own telephony carrier. Let's understand what is session initiation protocol or SIP trunks. A SIP trunk enables an endpoint PBX phone system to send and receive calls through the internet. SIP trunking is a service offered by communication service provider that uses the session initiation protocol to provision streaming media services and voice or IP VoIP connectivity between your on-premises phone system and the PSTN. SIP trunks enable internet telephony service providers to deliver telephone services and unified communication to customers equipped with SIP-based IPPBX and unified communication facilities. So what is direct routing? Direct routing is a capability of phone system in Office 365 to help customers connect their SIP trunks to Microsoft Teams. In the simplest deployment model, customers starts with SIP trunks from their telecommunication provider. Next, customers will use and configure 
a supported session broader controller, SPC, from one of Microsoft certified partners. Finally, they will connect the SBC to Microsoft Teams and phone system. So what are the operational modes for Teams voice communication? Microsoft Teams provide different features and functionalities for broadcasting, conferencing, and communication to PSTN throughout its licensing options and deployment variants. For example, a call to other Sky for Business and Microsoft Teams users are free. However, if you want your users to be able to call regular phones, but you don't have the service provider for voice call, then you will need to buy a calling plan. So let's explore some of the general deployment options available for voice communication with Teams. The first one is phone systems with calling plan. Licensed users can call out to numbers located in the country or region where the Office 365 license is assigned to the user based on their user's location and to the international number in 196 countries or regions. Phone systems with their own carrier through Sky for Business Server or Cloud Connector Edition. This connect your own supported SPC to Microsoft phone system through Sky for Business Server in hybrid deployment or Sky for Business Cloud Connector Edition deployment on-premises. Enterprise voice in Sky for Business Server with own carrier. This connect your own supported SPC to the enterprise voice system in Sky for Business on-premises server. This is the most complex option to deploy and maintain. So let's explore the interoperation with Sky for Business. If your organization uses Sky for Business and you are starting to use Teams alongside your Sky for Business or you are starting to upgrade to Teams, it's important to understand how the two applications coexist. Let's look at a few of the options. Teams only option. This is the final stage of being upgraded. It also the default for new tenants. You can use Teams for calling and chat. You can use Teams for meeting scheduling and you can use Teams for channels as well. So what is island mode? So in an island mode, for calling and chat, you either use Teams or Skype for Business. For meeting and scheduling, you can either use Skype for Business or Teams. For Teams channel, you can only use Teams. This allows a single user to evaluate both clients side by side. Chat and calls can land in either client, so users must always run both clients. In island mode, all messages and calls from people outside your organization are delivered to Skype for Business. After upgrading to Teams only mode, all messages from calls from outside your organization are delivered to Teams. So what is Skype for Business with Teams, Collab and Meetings mode? In this mode, calling and chat goes to Skype for Business. Meeting scheduling goes to Teams. Teams channel is available under Teams. So the use case scenario is, it's also known as meeting first, primarily for on-premises organization that are not yet ready to move to calling to the cloud, but they want to benefit the Teams meeting functionality. So the Sky for Business with Teams collab mode, calling and chat goes to Sky for Business. Meeting scheduling happen under Sky for Business. The use case scenario is this is an alternate starting point for complex organization that need tighter administrative control. And the final option is Sky for Business only. In this mode, calling and chat happens under Sky for Business, meeting scheduling happens under Sky for Business, and there is no Teams channel available. This is a specialized scenario for organization with strict requirement around data control. Teams is only used to join meeting schedule by others. 
Now that we have understood the overview of Microsoft telephony solutions, in the next lesson, we're going to talk about overview of Teams admin roles. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.